here at PAX 2013 in the NVIDIA booth with... I'm Chris Ray. I'm the GeForce Community Manager for NVIDIA. Okay, so what is this? This is Mangear's latest high-end system, and this is a beast. There's a few things that are really special about this system. First off, you're going to notice we have four Titans and SLI in here. That is a whole lot of graphics power. Um, and one of the things you run into with systems like this when you have that much heat and GPU power being generated inside the system is that liquid cooling systems need a lot of service regularly. So you'll need to top off the liquid cooling fluid and make sure that you're constantly topped off. With this one, they've in installed a massive reservoir with really good fitting, so there's no leaks in this. And basically what that means is that you're gonna get like six to eight months before you even need to think about servicing your system, whereas some, with some systems, you need to refill it once a week. I um, mean, some of the other things that they've done, like these are actually quick release liquid cooling fittings, so you can actually compress these and it will open up and close a valve which cuts off the fluid in there immediately. So you're able to actually pull the cards out of the system and service or swap or upgrade without having to drain your loop, which is really cool because you can keep your system up to date. All right, so I'm standing in front of the NVIDIA grid, which is uh, this big green thing behind me, and they tell me that as soon as I lick it, that I own it. So I'm going to, like, I have to break the glass first, but that's going to, they're not going to be very happy that's with me when loophole. I do it. That's how they get you. You can't actually lick it. I have glass cutters. Don't ask why Mission I have glass impossible. cutters, but I have them. Where I, I find you, like, dropping down from the ceiling in the middle of the night, what like, security guards are going to be, you know, rotating through, your little glass cutter just so you can look at it. What exactly is in this thing? So there, we have found way to take GPUs and actually run multiple instances of games off uh, certain types of GPUs. They're based off our supercomputer architecture. So basically what Grid is designed to do uh, is enable future cloud technologies like high-end PC game streaming over the net to a variance of devices like Shield, OUYA, phones, tablets, um, and even PCs. So basically Grid enables some of the highest quality gaming possible all streamed over the internet via the cloud. Okay, you said this is running on your supercomputer GPUs. Are you talking the Tesla or something it, similar? It is a variant of that, yeah, that we have specially designed for gaming applications in Grid. What all do you have in this one? Uh, this one, I'm not sure exactly how many cards are in each stack, but there are multiple cards in each stack. So you can essentially take uh, the number of systems that it would take to run these games and condense it down into a single rack instead of having it in three or four. So you can get an incredible amount of processing power with the ability to run multiple instances of games off a single GPU. Um, so you can completely upscale the number of services or games that you're delivering off a single blade. What is this thing currently running here at, uh, at the show and pass? Right now, this is actually running the grid server for the instance of the OUYA and the shield that you see right here. So this is actually running all the games that we have uh, going here. So like all of them in the entire floor? Or just no, no, like everything this? on this section of demos right here. Is this like overpowered for this or is it just... Yeah. So I'm like, we're, we could run all of these off of this one right here and then... You could 10... run all of these off of like a couple of the processors in one of the blades. So this is definitely overkill. You know why we have here is because it looks beautiful. So what you're saying is that I do need to take this with me along with the, the Titan that we've got over there. Yeah, so you know, just you do, do your smash and grab and uh, we'll see how Run like hell. Run. Yeah. Right. I was talking to Spider-Man yesterday and he says that uh, running is a very big part of, you know, not getting... Not getting caught. Not getting caught. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm Having the ability to scale walls helps also. I can do that. All right, Chris, uh, we've got the shield here. We haven't seen this since uh, PAX Boston, so what's new? Yeah, so we've done quite a bit to shield uh, since PAX, PAX East, uh, including launching the product. So it's out in the wild now, and gamers have had a lot of their chance to get their hands on it and enjoy it. And we've learned quite a bit about it from the community, and, and the nice thing about uh, the Shield is that it is an open platform portable gaming device. So that means the bootloader's unlocked, and that you know people can tinker with it and have fun with it and find new implementations for it, like flying drones, or there's an interesting company called Spiro that is making gyroscopic-driven, remote-controlled uh, LED balls that you can drive around and run into stuff. And uh, so those are all drivable with this because it is all, uh, they've got applications they've actually built for this. So what I have in my hand are actually two sh hands, are two shields, one running PC streaming, and one that is actually playing Android games. And so basically, one of the aspects of open platform gaming that we really wanted to focus on was allowing gamers to play the types of games how they want, anywhere they want. So you can take your uh, shield with you anywhere you want and play the latest Android games, even take your optimized Android games, which have better lighting effects, increased particle effects, uh, potentially destruction, um, and a range of other technical features that uh, the developers can actually build into the game that Tegra 4 can drive. And then in my other hand, I actually have a shield running, PC streaming running Batman Arkham City right now, 
And so what you're seeing actually is this shield, I have a charging cable uh, plugged into it so the battery doesn't die because it is running all day. But right behind me, I have a Falcon Northwest Tiki that is actually powering this uh, right behind me. So if you see the screen, you'll actually see that what is happening here is actually happening on the shield. And so we're able to deliver full high quality PC gaming quality, including full physics effects. So destruction, particles, uh, fur, hair, cloth, all that good stuff directly onto Shield, so you can get the best quality PC gaming experience anywhere in your house. I mean, I'm sure you've sat down and played a PC game for five hours in your chair and your back was hurting, or you just wanted to get up and get in a more comfortable position. Yeah, this would be really good for a lot of games that do not need the full keyboard. Like, you can't play Deus Ex on this, but you can play Rayman, and you can play Batman, and Absolutely. a lot of other games. Uh, what do you use your Shield for personally the most? I actually use my Shield personally the most for Android games right now because I've been doing a lot of traveling. Um, but I have been tinkering around with a range of games. Um, one of them that just came out was A Realm Reborn. It's an MMO and it's got full controller support built into the game. That's the so, Final Format Fantasy game, right? Yeah, it's actually, Really? It works on this? Uh, like I said, I'm tinkering on it. Uh, it has not officially been onboarded yet, but we're always testing new games to add in. You know, we typically add anywhere between two to five new games every week or two. So we're constantly evolving the library of games and testing. And, and that's one of the nice things about Shield is that our community has done a fantastic job of testing lots of different games. If you go to our forums, there's actually a spreadsheet in the Shield forums that the community has started, and they are they are testing games with us. So they actually have a running tracker, and they say this game works, this game has controller support, this doesn't, and it's it's amazing because it actually is a resource for us to use and go, okay, these are the games that people are really interested in playing, and they've actually helped us confirm which one work and which ones don't. So our community has been fantastic, and they're helping evolve the platform, which is why it's the best open platform gaming device. All right, two more questions. Um, you mentioned that you're playing a lot of Android games, and I want to give our audience some recommendations. What's your sure. uh, favorite one or two games? Um, so I've been playing Asphalt 8 that just came out. It's a new racing game. That one's got some really nice lighting and reflections in the game. Uh, and then, for some reason, I've just been hooked on Sonic the Hedgehog. It just takes me back to my childhood, and there's nothing like uh, collecting you know, rings and then uh, flying around with tails. It's been pretty fun.